Hello everybody, this is British Lifts here. Um, today I'm going to do a retake of my um, collection tour videos. Last, the last one wasn't very good, really, because the quality got messed up on it. But anyways, um, yeah, I do apologise. It's not really laid out as you'd as it was last time. I honestly don't really feel like doing it. As last time, it was a, a, a real pain in the neck. And oh dear, this um, thing here is broken. Oh well. Anyway, starting off, um, Butcher Hydraulics... Um, got a butcher hydraulics delta controller card this is out of a modular Kone liberty system some lift engineers gloves here um jackson lift group hats um dewhurst jumbo dewhurst button without a chip in it uh mitsubishi um Control indicator, control module. It's in suit. It's quite nice looking. Lester controls, which actually looks a bit like DMG, but it is in fact Lester controls. The back of it. Um, Jewish key switch here. Movie lift. Which I got from LiftX, by the way. Thank you, Movie Lift, for that. Thank you to all these companies for all this stuff, as a matter of fact. Um, Dewhurst Independent Service um, Indicator. You know what, actually, I'll actually wire some of these. I'll actually, some of this stuff I can actually know. I can't wire that one up. Some, I've got some of these I can actually wire up, so I'll actually wire some of this up, the stuff up for you. Um, actually, no, I won't bother, as it's a bit of a pain doing that on camera. Um, I might make a separate video on that, but anyways, um, another Jewess button here, another Jewess jumbo button here, this one in fact does actually have a, um, a chip in it, an LED chip in it, got some really nice old looking, um, relays here, um, I'll get one out to another detailed look at it. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks. It looks a little bit. It's made by um, Finder. Um, these look a little bit like um, Express and Benny relays. The um, modular sort of relay systems that you get in like the um, the nineteen eighties and the nineteen seventies and nineteen eighties. Um, got an unknown, uh, an unknown brand generic um, um, digital indicator. Got this, which I think um, comes from a, um, a roller or something, I don't know. Um, Tally Mechanic, which is now known as Schneider, um, fuse holder. Schmersel, limit switch. Old GAL, alarm button. we got another Schmersal limit switch here. This one's got a big roller on it. This one's rebranded as Leicester Controls, but Schmersal is the um, original um, manufacturer of the, the limit switch, although it's made for Leicester Controls. So that's why it says Leicester on it. Um, Schaefer, or Schaffer, or however you like to pronounce it. Um, push button. Quite nice. I don't really see... Sh um, I don't really see... Um, um, Schaefer stuff much, so it's quite interesting. Um, here we got a um, Schmer another Schmer swimming switch. I believe this one is used on governors, I think, since it's you push it down rather than as opposed to like this is another Schmer swimming switch, by the way, where it kind of like presses on. This one I think might be broken, I'm not too sure, but um, Schmer um, this is a gate switch. I believe this is, oh, this is a, um, oh yeah, there's like two prongs that go in there. This is for your car gates, so this tells whether the gate is closed or not. It's a door contact, basically. Uh, we've got some various press oils and stuff here from Jewhurst. And I think that's about it. Here are my lift keys. I have a Jewhurst 827 key that does this key switch here 
and I've also got a Lowen Fletcher Friesen 001Q, which is a jubilant version, which I'll show you in a bit. So let me, so allow me to demonstrate this. I'm just going to place my phone like this. So it's, it's a bit of a pain having to. Uh, it's hard to do this well with only one hand, but yeah, just a standard joystick switch, which you get on most lifts. Um, here we've got some dog treats. Um, here we've got a Hods, Hodis, Hodis, is it Hodison? Hossidon, Hossidon, that's what it is. Here we've got a Hossidon Besson um, Banshee sounder, I believe. This is the Banshee XL variant. Um, just allow me to take the, the bottom off. Um, this is a lift, these are used as lift alarms, but these are actually the same things they use on, um, fire alarms. So yeah, I'm hoping to power this up sometimes, because this, this, this thing will only, this thing takes, um, how much does it take, let me, it takes, um, 28 volt DC, so, and I think we have a 24, 24 volt, uh, I think we've got a power supply that can support this, so, um, yeah, it'll be fun. It's a four wire um, alarm, so it's got separate terminals for the strobe and for the sounder. Got a capacitor here, and it's multi tone as well. Notice how here you've got some dip switches. This, this side um, does is for changing the tone, and this side is for doing your volume. Um, I think I remember looking at the tone chart for this, and I think in this position with these two down, it's um, the minimum volume, and if you have one up and one down. I can't remember, I can't quite remember, but yeah, hopefully I'll make a video on this. You you can either have like low volume, mid volume or, or full volume, which I dread to hear how loud full volume is because it probably is quite loud, but anyways, yeah, so it's just a Banshee um, sound. It says um, Banshee um, MT on it, but I'm not sure whether this is just a, um, whether it's an XL, I think it's an XL because the tone sheet I looked up is an, is the one for the XL and it's, um, it has the same sort of, um, dip switch orientation on the back, but anyways, moving on, We've got here we have a new lift, um, lift lighting control unit, this, this isn't anything to do with lifts, but here is a Eurosec, um, intruder alarm, this is the old intruder alarm out of that house, which, we've now replaced with a newer one, which I'll quickly show you. Um, so yeah, it, it burned, it broke, as you can see, uh, stuff there is all burnt out, so yeah, obviously it doesn't work. But anyways, here we've got a Jackson, um, the little Jackson bear. Up here we got some various signs. Um, there's supposed to be a, a one for hand winding instructions, but that's randomly disappeared. Uh, we've got an Otis plate here. Read my old Otis plate. That I drew myself. Um, I'm sp there's supposed to be a fire service, an American fire service phase one thing here, but I don't really know where that's gone. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's the, where that's on, but anyways, these signs I bought off Amazon, and um, this one, I've uh, got a capacity sign, that's instructed for lift alarm. Okay, um, oh, the next, I also have a PW electrical um, catalogue. Um, I've also got, let's have a, look, let's have a proper look, um, just a second everybody. Uh, bring this stack of books now so we can actually have a proper look at it. Ah, here's my own fire service sign. Let's have a look at that. Alright, so we've got PW catalogue here. Which here they may armor us generate lift suppliers. Um American Fire Service instructions and a digital advanced controls product guide. Okay, next up, um, um, we got a Tim's Valley Controls um, remote monitoring pamphlet and a Dewhurst catalogue. Um, have I got anything else up here? Let's see if I really want to just have a look. Um, 
doesn't look like it. Oh, I do have like this. I do have this um, book here about lifts, which is just told you some bit of information about lifts. Okay, let's continue. Um, I have, um, I've got another key switch over here, a um, Dewhurst one. This one's got a Dew key in it. There's Freddy. Um, and um, what should we do next? I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. So I've got quite a lot to we'll talk about with this one. And now, in terms of just a second, one second, one second, one second, out quickly. Um, sorry, this video is not really that organised. Here I've got a very nice um, custom made um, Dewhurst call station. Yes. As my name on it, which I've covered up the surname for privacy reasons, and it's got a bus and it's got a button in that. And this one actually has a chip in it. This one originally didn't, but I added it in. Um, anyways, digital advanced controls. Cup, standard motor room sign, old GAL call station, really nice Otis, um, 1960s Otis, um, card data plates, one of my favourite pieces by the way, aside from my um, custom made parts, Te re really nice Keefe lifts, sign here, um, Otis globe, Um, safe line 3000 emergency phone um, and a Cole Morgan uh, emergency um, a, a Cole Morgan pit control unit it's got an emergency stop on it which of course basically the emergency safety circuit it's got an alarm button sound the lift alarm and this is it's also got a button to set off the shaft sites and it's got an IP44 rated plug for lift engines plug their tools in it's made by Cole Morgan as you can see And now, um, yeah, there's a computer down there which I'm, I'm working on at the moment, I'm disassembling it. But, um, yeah, and as you can see, as you may have spotted here, I've got one of my Dewhurst buttons wired up. Yes, this is a, it's lights up blue as you can see. Which I don't know why it's blue, even though it's got a green, um, it's a green coloured button, so you'd think it'd be green, but no, it's blue. So yeah, I've wired it to be on. If you wire, it, there's two switches here. If you wire this one, it's it's on when it's not pressed, and when you press it, it goes off. Or if you wire it to this one, it does the opposite, so it comes on when you press it. And here is probably the best piece. Here we got a really nice, a really nice, um, custom made Dewhurst lift box. This one is a very, very prestigious item in my um, collection. Because if that's the right word for it. A very precious item in my collection because this is this is a very unique um, thing that Dewhurst has made especially for me so yeah big shout out to Dewhurst for that um, yeah it's got a um, it's got a display on the front as you can see a bit of artwork showing it's got LEDs all around the box and it's got a, an EM buzzer on top so yeah let's have a look at see what each button does so if I just um, once you press it one after it when it turns on after you it does show the artwork and once you press it it then changes to like this slideshow to tell you some information about lifts. So yeah, we got lights all LEDs around the top. If we press stop does that. If we press the Dewhurst button it tells you some information. If we go around the back we got some door controls. If I press this one, it says doors closing. If I press the other one, it says um, doors opening. And these ones do exactly the same, just different colours. It, it shows the um, artwork. So yeah, big shout out to Jewess for doing this for me. This is an awesome piece, probably, and absolutely my favourite piece in the whole collection. Anyways, moving on. Um, here we got a GAL indicator, um, Bartet lift engineers um, plate, PW electrical um, um, 
in the, in the eventifier, do not use this lift sign. Old Schindler plate. Um, blank Jackson lift group. Um, rope David to play and a really nice old express um, David play, which is really really nice. It feels really nice and prestigious. Anyways, oh, I, I, by the way, I always have a Jackson sticker up there. Um, I'll try and show some some stuff like that. Oh, here I have a Jackson lift group like this. Got a Jackson lift group hat with a hard um, hat thing in it. Um, I've got loads and loads of manuals and stuff. There's loads and loads of catalogs and stuff. Oh, here I have two. We have some rollers. Um, here we have um, a really nice old Schindler. Um, controller with loads and loads of um, chips on it as you can see this one is a um, I don't know what brand this one is but yeah this is, this is also another controller um, Thames Valley controls um, project guide um, my knee. Really, catalogue, they make spare parts for lift companies, like repl replica parts. So they're doing stuff like for Pony, Tiefle, IGV, IGV, Hampton and Champness, Gimson, GAL, Furs, Thermator, um, Express, Dover, D um, Dewhurst, Benny, all sorts, gorgeous stuff like Somatic, Cellcom, Schindler, Prisma, Pickerings, Otis, all sorts, Cronenberg, all sorts. I'm going to move stuff out of the way so I don't injure myself on it ne next time. Um, here we've got some Elevator World magazines. Some Schmersal product guides. Um, some more of the Elevator World magazines. Um, Montanary Group um, product guide. They, they, they make lift motors. Um, what else we got? Um, oh, here I have a collection of a collection of um, documents from Stanner which are supposed to be like for the um, lift engineers when they're installing a lift so there's like stuff here that tells you about like um, what lifts are supposed to do if you want to read that pause now so yeah it's um, oh it even says like oh these are actually like um, past um, things from a um, natural um, job that's pretty interesting yeah, we got another one here, and we got some like some showing like the dimensions of it. Quite interesting. What else we got? Um, anything else that's worth? Um, we also got some standard leaflets here, which they've also sent to me. Metron as well. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed my um, collection video. Please do. Um, um, I hope you enjoy my collection video. Please, if you like my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And um, thank you for watching.